Hello, 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 and welcome to the conversation with Stevie. I am Dr. Stevie Aisha Mills, and this is the place where we uncover the why about what people do. We are smack dab in the middle of our She Source visual campaign, and I am here with another She Source celebrity. I want to make sure that you understand and know what I do, and then we'll get into what our guest says. I love helping my clients to utilize their expertise and experience to create the life they love by increasing their income online. And so today we have another she source celebrity, Shanice, is in the building. Hello, Shanice. How are you? I am doing great. How are you, Stevie? Doing good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's funny. When I hear your name, I'm like, I love you now. You might be. I don't know I what know. age people you always do that. <laughs> but I'm older than her, so I'm like, okay. Then my well, I know I'm paging myself <laughs> a little bit with that one, but I love this song. That's one of my favorites. So I'm super glad that you are here. Please do go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello everyone. My name is Shanice Collins and I am just passionate about helping women, helping them to unleash their a superhero, and I do this by exploring their strengths, teaching them how to execute them with courage from their zone of excellence, and as a result, they soar higher in their lives and their careers. All right now, yes, come on with the excellence, sis, I love it. So let's talk about this. <laughs> what allows us to be excellent? What, because that, when you said that word, it just exudes like power and strength and all of that greatness. So what is the number one tip that you share that allows us to walk into that excellence? It's breaking down those limiting beliefs. So, you know, we have a lot of noise in our heads, and oftentimes the noise that's in our heads, sometimes it came from someone else, and we latched on to it. We never checked for validity to see, is that something that is a weakness of mine? Is that something that is an issue that I can work on? We just kind of latch on to it without investigating. Or we've said things about ourselves that really are not necessarily true, but we keep replaying it over and over in our heads. And that limits us from just operating from that zone of excellence. If we work more towards our strengths and operating in that zone, then you can produce excellence at every step in every way and everything that you touch. Wow. I love it. I love it. I love it. So what has you just on this excellence journey, what was the why behind what you are doing now? It comes down to, uh, you know, being a black woman, oftentimes we're stuck with that um, thought process of we have to be two times great or ten times greater. We have to be better than whoever it is we are um, going up against in our corporate jobs, in our teaching professions, and anything that we're doing. So we're always striving to be better, and most of the time it's better better than someone else. But I say, you know, be better than yourself. So today you're at, at maybe level C, so tomorrow be better, be at B if possible. So it's, it's more towards striving for greater in yourself, and you can pull that potential out of yourself by working with coaches or mentors, and even by watching how others who do that thing well that you want to do who are doing that thing that you want to become or want to be able to, to do with excellence by learning along the way. Don't do it the hard way. When, when there are people who've done it before you, latch on to them. Get to know them. Find out how they got there so you don't have to take 20 years. You can maybe take one year, six months. But you have to use Use your network, and you have to build that network. Don't wait until you want it. You start building the network now for what you want to become. Yes, 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 yes. And so what type of activities and products and services do you offer women to help them exude in their excellence? I do teach um, several courses in a church leadership school for my church that I often offer outside of, of that vein. So I do teach public speaking. I know many people either struggle with um, knowing how to properly speak publicly 
knowing the tips and tricks, getting over the fears of speaking, but I also have one-on-one coaching where I work with people on, or mostly women, on career development, on um, developing a resilient mindset, on, <clears throat> excuse me, on building and boosting their courage, finding those strengths again. Then I also offer group coaching as well, where I offer the same things, but it just depends at what level um, you want to soar higher. So that could be someone who is uh, new to their role and wants to excel to maybe a leadership role, or that can be someone who is maybe in middle management and they're deciding do they want to switch careers or do they want to get promoted. Could be someone who wants to, hey, quit the corporate gig, quit the whatever job they have and go out on their own. So just helping them build up those skills to do the thing that they so desire to do, to live that fulfilling life that that they have that seems so far off, but really it's not. Wow. And when it comes to you and your vision of excellence, what would you say is your driving force? My driving force is a couple of things. I am a mother, so I'm always looking for ways to show my daughter that the possibilities are endless. You you can do anything that you set your mind towards, but you have to work towards. No one's going to tap you on your shoulder and give it to you. No one's going to point out an opportunity for you. You have to work towards it, and you have to work towards it like with a commitment. It can't be haphazard. Oh, I'll do it today, and I may not do it for three more months because that's not going to get you to your end goal. But you have to set those goals with timelines and work at it on a consistent basis in order to get to that thing. The the other thing is, you know, none of us are perfect, and it took me a long time to get to the headspace of done is better than perfect because you can always tweak something along the way, but if you're always working on it and never gets released because you're trying to make it perfect, then it's never done. So you have to go ahead and, and just let that thing go and you know, build and tweak out as you go. It'll it'll get to that level of excellence that you desire, but you need to release it to the world. Yes, yes, yes. And one of the questions I've been asking all of our She Source celebrities, first it comes with a bit of gratitude and just saying thank you for your time, your treasure, your talent and partnering with us on the She Source visual campaign. And then a question that goes, why did you say yes? What made you say that you wanted to be part of the SheSource visual campaign? Well, when I saw SOARS, that that stood out to me because I have been working on programming dealing with SOARS as an acronym. So when I saw that, I was like, hmm, that's kind of confirmation that I need to keep on working on that SOARS idea that I have. The other part of it is, I think we can all soar higher, and one way that we do that is like what you're doing now. You're giving me an opportunity to share what I do with others that I may not normally encounter. So in order for us to soar, we have to help each other. So we lift each other up, and we continue to take others along on our journey. And the last part would be I know I was put here for a purpose, and I wasn't put here to be mediocre or to just sit on the sidelines or to just um, quietly wait for things to happen. I need to be out there moving and shaking, so I need to be continuing to to write more books and to build more coaching programs, to speak on stages. And the only way that I can do that is if people know that I exist and what I do. I love it, I love it, I love it. One of the questions that we ask every person who comes to have a conversation with me is a fill-in-the-blank question that I want to ask you. And it goes, Dr. Stevie, we cannot leave the conversation today without everyone knowing, and please do fill in the blank. Oh, that's a good one. And I could go on and on. (laughs) So let's see. We cannot leave the conversation today without people knowing that while it may have been a few years back, I did write a book called Resilient on Purpose. And oftentimes we as women are very private. We don't want to share our struggles or our hardships or or the adversities that we face. But I have learned in writing that book that 
if you can help somebody by being transparent and sharing your story, then it's better for you to release it to the world and let others be blessed. Let them see that there is maybe the, the darkness they're in now, but there is hope because they see someone who has overcome something similar to what they may be going through or what they are in the middle of going through or what they didn't think they were out of, but now they realize, you know what, it is over and this is something else I'm dealing with. So I, I would say they need to know about the book, Resilient on Purpose. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And so this is the time for you to give us all your contact information because I know that people want to stay connected to you. And also, any other last words that you have to share today? Oh, let's see. I can definitely say that it's a pleasure talking to you, Dr. Stevie. We have been on um, the Clubhouse stage together and um, definitely been in my inbox quite a bit, and I enjoy watching the things that you do to help other women thrive. For me, I would say um, it's a great opportunity to have other women like yourself who are paving the way and giving those of us who are building and maybe trying to expand an opportunity to do so. I would also say that, you know, being a coach, um, some people don't quite get what, what we do as coaches. And I, I tell people you really need to do your homework because there are plenty of folks out there who are, are stating that they're coaches. No, you don't have to be ICF certified to be a coach, but um, I do believe that some formal training, be it if you've been working in a corporate setting and actually um, coaching employees, if you've been working maybe in an educational system and coaching students or even employees there, some type of background that has given you the experience to coach, I believe is much more helpful than someone just up and deciding, oh, I'm going to be a coach today. And then I have also um, gone through some formal training to help build my skills and give me other tools to help my clients when I am working with them on either a one-on-one -on -one or a group basis. So I say choose your coaches wisely, do your homework. I love it. Thank you so much for your kind words. It's incredible. Please give us your contact information as well. So on Facebook, I am at I am Shanice, and I always do this, I am Shanice M. Collins com or I am Shanice M. Collins. On Instagram, I am I am dot Shanice M. Collins. And if you just Google me, you'll find me on YouTube, Denise Collins. And my website is denisecollinsunlimited.com. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you, y'all. Listen, you need to reach out to Shanice so that you can live ex excellent. And the word is interesting because when I was saying excellent executive came out of my mouth too. So mm -hmm. I think that you live an excellent executive lifestyle, you will increase your income. Okay, come on now. So, <laughs> so <laughs> it's been a pleasure. You all definitely make sure to reach out to Shanice. I know that she has some great things, including her books, her products, her services, some words of wisdom for you. So get connected, get connected, get connected. And also, if you're looking for me on any part of the Internet, just know how to spell my first name correctly, S-T-E-V-I-I. -I. The I's of my name stand for increasing income. And you literally can go to workwithcv.com and we can connect. So I always love to end everything that I do literally the same way. And it is by saying, make it a great day. Don't have a great day. Make it a great day. Why? Because you, 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 and yes, you too have the power to do so. Bye for now.